All right, so I'm gonna show you a little something I like to prepare. Now, this isn't a cooking show. I'm not doing a cooking show here. I'm gonna leave that to my friend, Nick Johnston. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you something that I like to prepare because you can do it in many different ways. Um, basically, if you've got potatoes, vegetables, various other things, you can chop it all up, put it in some um, tin foil, and come up with a real nice side dish for anything else that you're doing. So, you know, starts with the basics. Potato, you just want to cut that up in any way, shape, or form. Now, the reason we're cutting it up into relatively small chunks is because we're going to roast this right on the fire. And we want it to be able to cook relatively quickly right so we want to give it maybe 30 minutes of uh, coal time and so we're cutting up nice small chunks of potato that'll help it to cook faster now I got the fire going in the background by the time that burns down and I have a nice bed of embers I'll be ready to prepare it now the other thing I'm doing I just have a variety of other things that I'm going to throw in with it, right? So, we're just going to chop all of that stuff up. Now, when you prepare this, what keeps the veggies and the potatoes from burning is liquid. So, you want to have a can of tomatoes or something similar to put in the tin foil with your veggies and your potatoes. And it's the liquid from the tomatoes that keeps everything from burning. So that's essential. But basically, anything you put in here is just gonna add to the flavor. So this is a real good catch-all recipe. Thanks, buddy. Can I help? Let's see. Yes, you can. Here's how you help. Go ahead and take this. Yeah. It's garlic salt. I want you to sprinkle it over all of those vegetables. Good job. Okay. Now let's do a little bit of uh, Italian seasoning too. There you go. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle. More, 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 more. Be liberal. There you go. Oh, it's going to be good. <laughs> all right. That's good enough there, buddy. What else do I have? Oh, I got some, got some black pepper, just like that. Here, hold on. We got some salt. Go ahead and sprinkle that salt on there, just like that. There, that's good enough. All right, good. That's good. Now, key here is creating the tin foil bowl. Boom. Do a couple layers. Just like that. How's the fire look, Miguel? Yeah? What's that? So go ahead and... What'd you say? And you got a nice fire there. Okay, go ahead and crinkle up the corners like that, right? Make yourself a bowl. Like that. Nah, I got it, bud. Kind of a one man job. So I do appreciate that. Okay, now we've made ourselves a little bit of a bowl, right? Now, the thing you do is you calculate the amount of stuff you have size of the bowl and you say immediately that bowl's too small 
let's see what we can do with it. Okay, get every little, every little corner. Oh, sure, go ahead. You really got to settle it in. Okay, now, what we're going to do, good job bud, alright. I'll put some more spices in there, so. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to supplement this bowl. Stand back now. It's getting, getting critical here. Now, here's what we're going to do. Can of tomatoes, right? That's the key. Can of tomatoes. Now I got it, bud. It's actually, it's actually a little bit tricky. It takes a little bit of crank in here. All right. Now, again, it doesn't matter. If I got a bunch of potatoes, just a few, a bunch of vegetables, doesn't matter what kind of vegetables I have, none of that stuff matters. Just go ahead and cut it all up in big chunks, put it in your tin foil, and you'll be good to go. Okay. Now, let's wrap this thing up. Well, can I do that part? <laughs> Got it? Now you gotta tuck it. You gotta tuck it a little bit. I'm trying to make this thing. Hold on, let me let me pull. Let me pull. Good job, buddy. Let me pull this over here. Like here. Now this is the magic, this is the magic ceiling technique. Ready? Yeah. You get that side and you follow what I do. Get that side. Follow what I do. Curl. 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 Just like that. Right? You got it. You're doing it right. Curl, curl, curl. Curl, curl, curl. Just curl up all the edges. Okay. Now what we've created is this is called the epic pod of deliciousness right here. No, it's totally true. Epic pod of deliciousness. All right. So, we got a pretty darn good fire going here. And what we're going to do is make space for this thing. So, we also kept the fire going for quite a while, like an hour or so. So, we have lots of little coals, a nice bed of embers here to work with. This right here is all very hot. So now all I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little of that, set that aside. Oh, that's all right. Set that aside. Take our little bundle of awesome. Boom. Just like that. Then we're going to take our coals right over the top like that. Get it buried. A nice set of coals. We're going to forget about it for about 30 minutes. And then we will have a finished bag of awesome. All right. <clears throat> so we're at a point where I think this is done. So I'm going to pull it out and put it in uh, keep warm mode. There we go.
That's done. Yup. All right, let's see how we did. All signs are good. Oh yeah, good stuff there. It's still very, um, very moist, which is good, right? Looks like the liquid from the tomatoes kept it nice and moist. I think that's gonna be good stuff, just like that.